Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Music Marketing TV. I'm Dan D, and thanks for tuning in to Present Presents. Woo! So this is the episode where I go ahead and explore VSTs in FL Studio or, you know, pretty much anything. Um, and I make presets for you to have for free. Yes, that's right, for free. Anyways, so we're going to deal with um, Harmer today. And we're going to make some pads. Something I call power-up pads. Uh, yeah, it sounds kind of corny, but it sounds pretty cool, if you know what I mean. Alright, so I got those basic chords there, as you can hear. And what we need to do, since it's a pad, we need to make sure it lasts long. Uh, it gradually gets up there and kind of runs in the background, right? So we're going to create something interesting. Um, first of all, let's go into our um, little... ADSR envelope here. We're going to enable it. So this is what happens now. Now, if you're not familiar with an ADSR, this is how it works. So attack being the first uh, letter is how long it takes for the volume to reach its highest peak. Uh, decay is the time it takes uh, to go from its peak all the way down to its hold position or sustained position. The sustain is basically the level in which uh, the volume stays at until you let go of your key and then it releases and how that's basically how long it takes for the sound to um, diminish, to fade away. So attack, decay, sustain, release. Alright, so we are going to cat, we're going to have a little straight um, kind of attack there, nothing too crazy with the curves. All right, we're going to have our decay all the way up as well as our sustain. Now this would be the same as this. Just to make sure you guys see it, our decay and sustain are the same. So it reaches its highest peak and it stays at the highest peak. All right? Uh we're also going to get rid of the um velocity to the volume. So every time I hit a key, it's always the same velocity. Um, and my release, we're going to keep it relatively short. I'm going to do something like this. Something like that. Because I want to go from one note to the other. Right, so if I have it long, there's going to be a big overlap and it doesn't sound that good. Right, so if we keep it short, I guess something like this, it's good. And we're going to also activate the tempo bass time. And we're just going to snap everything to the lines here. And maybe half of that. There we go. Okay, so we have. Um, a little gradual pad here, this really simple pad of a uh, sawtooth waveform. And the next thing we got to do for my power up is to include the phaser. And what this does, well, I can just let you hear it. Cool. Now, the next thing we need to do um, is we actually have to go into here. Phaser mix, which is this. We're going to have it all the way up, so keep it on like that. Uh, we're going to go into the phaser phaser width, and we're going to bring it down a bit, and then bring it up across, kind of like that. Pretty cool. We're going to have a little... So, you know, it's a gradual... Alright, so now that we have that, we can go ahead and adjust our speed. And our offset. And the width. Yeah. Alright, 
And that's essentially the power-up pad. Really simple, actually. We're also going to add some uh, phaser offset. So this is what that does. And we can also change our um, phaser scales from octave to hertz to harmonic. Which is really cool. Let's go back to our mix here. Let's actually go f down and make it kind of pop up. Got some resonance. Right, and we're also going to go to our filter one frequency. Bring it down, and then go up, and enable it, of course. There we go. And let's see here. Let's make it so that... All right, so this is what it sounds like with the beat now. Let's go ahead and change that. Let's go ahead in our volume. Let's take this off. change how long it takes for that phaser to kick in by moving this over to the right. And we can make it just kind of do that. Very subtle. Don't want to go too far down or else you won't hear it obviously yeah change your width you can also change our phaser type here I usually like condom yeah nice power up <laughs> Some cool stuff you can do. Cool stutter effect. And you want to make this very subtle. Go ahead, add some reverb. Turn up the heat. Of course, these presets are going to be available on the FL uh, Image Line forum. You can just check under the Harmor category. I'll have that uploaded right away. Uh, this one comes with a whole bunch. I'm going to save this one. This one's a new one. I really like this one. And we're going to call it Power Up, I believe, 13. 13. So there's a lot of presets for this one. You get uh, 1 to 13. Some really cool stuff um, you can make with this. I just, you know, um, have this little subtle thing happening. But, um, you know, feel free to try your own thing. And that's pretty much it for this. So you go ahead and find this on the FL Image Line forum under Harmer. Um, I'll have a sample of these presets on there as well. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and understand a little bit more about, you know, how to function Harmer and, you know, all its tools and whatever, right? I'm Dandy from Music Marketing TV, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace!